Our word this morning is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 1. Then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. Thank you. You may be seated. Turn off these devices. First and foremost, I want to give honor to God, our Father, to Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, and to the keeping power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, to all of our official staff members, to our professors, to our fellow students. It is a blessing and a delight again to be able to share uh, in this opportunity to share God's word. Uh, I normally preach uh, until someone falls out the window. Uh, uh, I normally preach until either they go to sleep or uh, the dead is resurrected, but since you're so kind this morning, I'll just try to do this in about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, I want to talk this morning briefly uh, from the subject of the gospel according to the stump. Um, Isaiah says, then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. The size of a tree is not always measured by its height. I have a newfound respect for trees based on an experience that we encountered at the church some nine months ago. The church where I serve as pastor is located on a corner lot and on the north side of the church is our parking lot. On the south side of the church is a vacant lot in which we own. On this lot there are about five grown, huge pecan trees. Uh, we began to notice that our restrooms were flooded. We began to notice that the church lawn was bringing up a lot of water. We noticed that there were great masses of water in different spaces and different places on the church lawn. And we couldn't figure out where the water was coming from. Uh, we tried many times to repair or try to locate uh, the breach or the break in the plumbing to no success. And so finally we called out the city of Austin's wastewater department to assist us with the problem. And due to modern technology, they were able to take a camera and look beneath the ground and take a picture of our plumbing. What we discovered is that although the pecan trees are some hundred feet away from our plumbing, uh, the roots of the pecan tree had entangled in our plumbing, causing breaks and breaches across the whole infrastructure to the tune of some $12,000. Uh, so I have a newfound respect for, <laughs> for trees. When we look at this particular passage of scripture, Isaiah is called to prophesy to Judah concerning their sin and the impeding judgment of God. However, wherever judgment is preached, we're learning here at this school that grace must also have its word as well. Isaiah reminds the nation that God will reinforce and reestablish his promise of a divinic dynasty in the person of the coming Messiah. This is the gospel. This is the good news. This is the news that God will act on our behalf. And when we look at this particular passage concerning the gospel according to the stump, again, trees are not always measured by their height. And what we normally do many times, we're more concerned with what's lost than what's left. And what he's saying here, he says, then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse. God is not so much concerned about what's lost. He can do far more than what's left than we can realize. Uh, most of us have problems with wondering what happened, what, what, where did we lose, what, where did we lose this, or where did we lose that, or how did we lose this, or how did we lose that. Uh, my problem today is not uh, how, how did I lost certain things. My problem today is how did I gain 100 pounds since high school? Uh, how do I lose that? How, how do I go back and, 
get back to my physique. Some of us are, are worried about what we don't look like and what we used to look like. When God is not concerned about the things that we lost more than he is with what's left. And what's left in this text, although Judah has sinned, has fallen uh, to a low spot in her, her life due to apostasy, uh, God is saying that even this stump has hope. Even this stump can bring about change. God is saying it's not, it's not, what, we, it's not what we lost. It's what's left. And he can use what's left to our advantage. In this particular passage, he talks about a shoot, a twig, something small that will spring from the roots of Jesse. He connects Jesse back to the Devonic dynasty uh, when David is at the height of Israel's kingdom. He, he reverts back to this place where Israel was one of the most uh, prosperous and glorious nations there ever was due to great leadership. But he also reminds us that the Assyrians had come and they would come and that they would destroy everything that God had purposed for Israel due to their apostasy. He says that the, 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 is the, the uh, Assyrian army or the Syrians were as tall as trees in Lebanon, but they would soon be cut down simply because God would use them to, to chastise his people, but the Assyrians took it to another level. They thought that they were the ones who brought destruction upon God's people. But again, I come to tell you this morning that the good news, the gospel about concerning the stump is that God can do more with what's left than he can with what's lost. Uh, this text reminds us that between the shoot and the branch, there is the stem of Jesse. And God starts right there, reminding us that his work is not yet done. Not only, not only does, does God work more with what's left and not with what's lost, but another thing that this text kind of reminds us of is that God will recreate his purpose of renewal. God will recreate his purpose of renewal. And he will do it through this stump. I keep going back to this stump because when we look at it, a stump really doesn't mean a lot to most of us. But again, a tree is not measured by its height. It's measured by its roots. And these roots will bring forth from Jesse, from David's lineage, will bring forth a branch. Who is this branch? Or what is this branch? Or how can we come to a conclusion that this branch will make a difference? Uh, many scholars would say that the word branch would kind of refer us to a Nazarite or a Nazarene. What Isaiah does in chapter 11, in verse 1, he gives us the introduction of what God will do. And then after verse 1, he unpacks it through application. We're focusing on verse 1 because it is the stem of Jesse that gives each of us, as it does Israel and Judah, hope. We have a branch, or there is a branch that Isaiah speaks of that will grow exponentially from a stump, from a shoot, from something that appears to be insignificant, for something that appears to be useless. There is a great kingdom that will spring forth from the stem of Jesse. Jesse's stump will produce a branch, but this branch is unlike any other branch. This branch would be able to bear the fruit that many of us through our disobedience to God have failed to produce. The good news is, is that if God can use this stump, if God can use this stem, if God can use this seed, this, this branch from Jesse, then all of mankind can receive renewal. And this, this text leads us to what we're studying in the intro to theology, uh, thinking like a theologian. It's leading us to an eschatological, eschatological end 
uh, which simply says that regardless of how things look right now, God is not through with us because the branch has come. And on this branch, there is salvation. On this branch, there is peace. In this branch, there is love. In this branch, uh, Isaiah says, this branch will bear fruit. Can you imagine fruit coming from a stump? <laughs> None of us can. But God knows that what is left is always better than what is lost. And he's always in the act of recreating man back to the Garden of Eden. That is my word for us today. The gospel according to the stump. And then in closing, I want to just say and just reiterate this. Don't worry about what's lost. Focus on what's left. God can do more with what's left than he can ever do with what's lost. Thank you.